Hey guys, how are you all doing? Today we're going to make a dish which you will not normally find in a restaurant but most Thai households know how to make it. We're going to make son-in-law eggs. There are many stories how the dish became son-in-law eggs and one story says that the son-in-law couldn't cook anything else so he boiled the eggs, fried them and served it up with the sauce. But I think there's a mother-in-law's explanation to why this is called son-in-law eggs. In Thailand, eggs, that's right, slang for testicles, balls, eggs. So the story goes like this, the mother-in-law made the dish for the son-in-law as a warning for what would happen to his eggs if he mistreated her daughter. He was quite, he was shown that his eggs would be boiled, deep fried, cut in half and have a boiling sauce poured all over them. So I think the story of the mother-in-law may possibly be correct. Anyhow, we're going to make this dish today. And like I say, this dish is not normally found in any Thai restaurant. It is simple to make and it is absolutely bursting with flavor. So whatever story you believe, there's no denying that this dish has a fantastic balance of sweet, sour, salty. It's very, very Thai. So let's make it. Right guys, in a pan we need to boil some water with our eggs in, so we need to boil our eggs. Now what we're looking for, as soon as the bubbles start to form in the bottom of the pan, we need to set our timer for five minutes. We need to boil our eggs for five minutes. Now, a good tip is to twirl the eggs around in the pan. This actually centers the yolk inside the egg so when it's boiled the yolk will be in the center of the egg so just give it a twirl every now and again and bring the eggs up to a boil we need to boil for five minutes five minutes we'll have a soft center in our eggs okay then when our five minutes is up we need to take the eggs out of the boiling water and we need to put them in cold water. Now I'm using ice cold water. So take the eggs out and submerge it in ice cold water. And by submerging it in ice cold water, it actually helps our eggs to cool down. But what also happens, it stops our eggs from having that black ring around inside um, of a boiled egg. It would be just be white and yellow. So I'm all fingers and thumbs when I peel eggs. So what I do, I actually put the egg inside a beaker and give it a good shaking round which cracks the eggs all over. And that helps me to peel the egg. It just makes it so much easier because normally I put my finger on my thumb straight through the egg. Okay then, so to make our tamarind sauce, we need to put a pan on low medium. We want to add, oh wow, I don't know, five tablespoons of water, four tablespoons of palm sugar, two tablespoons of fish sauce, and three tablespoons of tamarind sauce. Then what we need to do, we need to stir and dissolve all this mixture. Keep stirring, dissolve it in. Now this is the time to taste and adjust. Is it salty, sour, sweet? What do you like? Add whatever you want, adjust it to your taste. So bring to the boil and then we need to turn off. And that's our tamarind sauce, done. Okay, we want to thinly slice 10 shallots or red onions. So thinly slice them. 
just be careful of your fingers. Okay, we want to put a pan on with some oil. Oh, it's going to be a semi-deep fry. We need to actually fry the boiled eggs. So you want about an inch of oil in the in the bottom of the pan. But make sure we dry the eggs properly on kitchen towel before we actually put the eggs in the oil. We do not want this to splatter and cover ourselves in oil and get burned. So all we do now is just fry until we have that golden crust on the outside and slightly textured. Then we need to take out and drain on kitchen towel. In the same oil then, put the shallots in. We need to fry them till they're golden and crispy. Now be careful because it could boil over. So cook your onions till we've got that nice golden and crispy texture. And then take out and drain on kitchen towel. In the same oil then, Bob in our chilies and fry our chilies. Okay, with our eggs we need to cut them in half. As you can see the yolk is still soft in the middle. Absolutely perfect boiled fried eggs. And then what we need to do is cut all our eggs open, plate them up, add our tamarind sauce in between and a little drizzle over the top and then dress our dish with our fried onions, a few fresh sliced shallots not fried, our chilies and some coriander or cilantro leaves and that is our son-in-law eggs made guys that is so simple so easy now this is definitely one to make at home absolutely fantastic real Thai food that you will not normally see in a Thai restaurant so I hope you try this recipe and if you like it don't forget we make real Thai food so if you like what we're doing like and subscribe and we'll see you next time <laughs>